once you've finished cutting all the holes in your part and tapping them, you're ready to bring it down to the proper dimensions uh, into a triangle as it shows on the drawing. Uh, you will use the bandsaw for this purpose. When you first come over here, you can see behind it that there is a lockout, so you'll have to have a supervisor come and unlock this for you before you can run it. Uh, this bandsaw is strictly for wood and plastics. It's not meant to cut tougher materials. Uh, in order to get a straight cut, uh, like the, the drawing says 30 degrees, you'll come over here and set this up and just line it up to 30 degrees and lock it down. And you can verify if it's a straight line by seeing if your line lines up with this and it looks like it does. You're almost ready to begin, begin cutting but first you want to make sure that you're observing a couple of techniques to make sure you get a nice cut. First of all don't apply too much pressure onto your part because it could cause the part to pinch the blade. Secondly make sure that when you're feeding your part into the blade that your fingers are clear for obvious reasons. And lastly, make sure that you're cutting on the outside of the line because you can always take more material away, but you can't put it back. So I am going to begin. On switch is down below. And now we've got our part down to size. We're almost finished with the green certification, but before we are completely finished, we need to make sure to remove any sharp edges or burrs. You can do this a number of ways. You can sand it. You can use what's, what's called a deburring tool to bring off those burrs or sharp edges within the holes or on the edges. Or you can also use the disc sander here. This disc sander will eat through material and to show you that I've got a piece of scrap here and we've got a line on this piece of scrap and I'm just gonna hold it on the disc sander for a little bit to show you how fast this thing will take away that material. So here goes. As you can see, after just a couple seconds on the disc sander, it took away a lot of material. So I will finish up the part now using this. We've got a little bit of excess material on this side, so I'm going to uh, take that off. It looks like we have a pretty finished part. Once you've completed your part, you want to make sure that it looks alright. So we're going to clean it off with some layout guy remover. Just spray it on. I'll wipe it off with a rag. Once you're done cleaning your part, you want to take it to the supervisor to be inspected. The supervisor will use the green certification grading rubric to grade your part. It will be graded on a 0 to 3 scale on layout, saw cuts, holes and threads, overall finish, self-assessment, safety, housekeeping, and communication. To pass the green certification, you need a score of at least 18 points out of 24.
gift certification video. If you have any additional questions, you can refer to the shop manual or you can talk to a supervisor. Good luck on your certification.